Hello students, do you know long ago people used parts of plants and the skin of animals to cover their bodies. As time went by, they discovered methods of making fabrics and the style of clothing kept changing with time and according to cultures and became what it is today. In this video, we are going to learn about clothing. What are clothes made of? Choosing clothes according to the weather, the proper care of clothes and the importance of wearing clean clothes. Today, we wear clothes made from fibers such as cotton, silk, wool and nylon. Clothes protect our body from the sun, wind, rain, cold and dust. There are mainly two types of fibers with which clothes are made. Natural fibers and human made fibers. Natural fibers are obtained from either plants or animals. Natural fibers are of two types, plant fibers and animal fibers. One example of plant fibers is cotton. Cotton is collected from the hairy seeds of the cotton plant and it is then used to make fibers. Another example of plant fibers is jute. We get jute from the stem and outer skin of the jute plant. One example of animal fibers is wool which we get from the body hair of animals such as sheep, yaks and camels. Another example of animal fibers would be silk. We get silk from the cocoons of silkworms. A cocoon is a covering made from smooth threads in which a baby silkworm lives. Human made fibers are made by human beings. These fibers are also called artificial fibers or synthetic fibers. Some examples of human made fibers are nylon, acrylic, terry cotton, rayon and polyester. So far we have learned how clothing has changed with time. The two types of fibers and the different plants and animals that give us fabric. Now it's time for a short quiz. What are human made fibers also known as? A. Polyester fibers B. Artificial fibers C. Acrylic fibers The correct answer is artificial fibers. Human made fibers are also called artificial fibers or synthetic fibers. Polyester and acrylic are examples of artificial fibers. Moving on, as I told you a little while ago, we also choose clothes according to the weather condition. Let us look at how our choice of clothes changes with the weather. In summers, we wear light colored clothes made of cotton or linen. Such clothes do not absorb sunlight, so we feel cool. They also allow body heat to escape. Cotton clothes absorb our sweat. In winters, we wear clothes made of wool and other warm fabrics. Such clothes keep us warm by preventing our body heat from escaping. During the rainy season, we wear cotton or synthetic clothes as they dry very fast. We often use a plastic raincoat when we go out in the rain. Plastic does not allow water to pass through. We also use an umbrella to protect ourselves from getting wet. It's time for a quick knowledge check. Let's see if you can answer this question. 
In which season do we wear clothes made of wool? A. Winter B. Summer C. Rainy season The correct answer is winter. Woolen clothes keep us warm by preventing our body heat from escaping. You know, we should take care of our clothes just like we take care of ourselves. This way, we can use our clothes for a long, long time. Let's see how to take care of the clothes. We should wash our clothes with a good soap or detergent. Washed clothes should be rinsed properly to remove the soap. Synthetic clothes should not be squeezed after rinsing. Woolen clothes should be kept out in the sun after the winter season is over. Then they can be packed along with neem leaves or moth balls. Okay, tell me, have you heard the proverb, cleanliness is next to godliness? Do you know why they say so? Because it is very important to wear clean clothes. And why is that? Let's see the importance of wearing clean clothes. We should always wear clean clothes. Dirty clothes make us look shabby. They also smell bad. Besides, dirty clothes can cause skin diseases. We should not lend or borrow clothes. Infections of one person can be passed on to another person by sharing clothes. So, we learn different ways to take care of our clothes and why it is important to wear clean clothes, right? It's now time for a quick quiz. Find out the wrong statement. A. Synthetic clothes should be squeezed after rinsing. B. Dirty clothes can cause skin diseases. C. We should not lend or borrow clothes. The correct answer is A. What did we learn? We should not squeeze synthetic clothes after rinsing them. Right? Good. That's all for this video. I hope you learned some really important things today. I also hope that you will follow what you have learned today. I'll see you another time with another interesting topic. Until then, bye-bye. When you wear different clothes, do you know how it is obtained? Clothes are obtained from natural and man-made fibers. Natural fibers are obtained from either plants or animals. Let us learn about the different types of fibers. Cotton is obtained from the cotton plant. The cotton plant has cotton balls that are used to make cotton clothes. Another plant fiber is jute. Jute fiber is obtained from jute plants. Jute fibers are used to make jute articles like jute bags. Now let us learn about animal fibers. Silk is obtained from the cocoon of the silkworm. Silk is used to make saris and other silk dresses. Another animal fiber is wool. Wool is obtained from yak. Woolen clothes are made from wool for the winter season. You have learned about clothes made from plant and animal fibers.